Okay, now we're going to finish up whole numbers. And the focus here is the order of operations. When we talk about order, we're talking about where do we start when we do a large operation. Here are the steps. First, do any grouped operations first. So if they're in parentheses, okay, that is a sign that they are grouped. So you can see in the example, the grouped operations are the ones in parentheses. Then number two, you're going to focus on taking care of any exponents or square roots. That's what you're going to do second. If you have anything that you have to multiply or divide, you're going to do those things. But here's the key. You want to start left and move your way to the right. Then finally, last thing, are any additions or subtractions? And again, you're going to move from the left to the right. So the number one through four for the order of operations. Do any grouped operations within parentheses. It doesn't matter if there's additions or subtractions. You're going to do whatever is in the parentheses first. Then you focus on any exponents, any uh, square, cubed, uh, power to the second, third, fourth, fifth, power, any square roots, second. Then you do any multiplications, divisions, and you do those starting from the left going to the right. And then lastly, you do any additions or subtractions going left to right. So as you can see in the example, we do the grouped ones first, 9 minus 4. That gives us 5. Now we have 6 plus 5 times 3. Well, what do we do first? Okay, what do we do now? We do the multiplications or divisions because there's no square root, there's no um, exponent, so we're going to do multiplication first. So that's the 5 times 3. Now that's 15. And then you do your addition, 6 plus 15 is 21. Here's another example. Okay, we have 18 minus 12. 18 minus 12 divided by 4. So we're going to do the division first because there are no group numbers, there are no exponents, there are no square roots. So the only thing here that we see that would be next on the list would be division. We don't do 18 minus 12 because subtraction will happen last. Addition will happen last. Okay, so we do the 12 divided by 4, that's 3. Now we do the 18 minus 3, and that gives us 15. Okay, let's take a look at this example. First, we're going to do the parentheses. So I'd like you to get out a piece of paper and write this down and go ahead and let's work on this together. So first, we do the parentheses, 2 plus 6, that is 8. Now we have 7 squared plus 9 minus 8 times 2 plus 3. Now we do the exponent, so 7 squared. So 7 squared, this is not 7 times 2, this is going to be 7 times 7, so that's 49. So now we have 49 plus 9 minus 8 times 2 plus 3. So what are we going to focus on now? Okay, not addition, not subtraction, but multiplication. So we have 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 49 plus 9 minus 16 plus 3. So now we just have addition and subtraction. So what are we going to do? Remember, you have to start left and move your way to the right. So we have 49 plus 9 minus 16 plus 3. So 49 plus 9 is 58. 58 minus 16 is 42. And then 42 plus 3 is 45. So we work our way left to right. Here are two practice problems I'm going to show in just a little bit. You can see here, okay, we have in a bracket or parentheses 5 plus 3 times 6. Again, parentheses minus 4 squared divided by 2. So we're going to go ahead and do the parentheses first. Okay, so that's going to be 5 plus 3. That gives us 8. Then we have 8 times 6. That's still in another parentheses. We're going to go ahead and do that one. That's 48. Now we have 48 minus 4 squared divided by 2. We're going to do the 4 squared first. 
Remember, that's not 4 times 2, that is 4 times 4. So 48 minus 16 divided by 2. What do we do now? Okay, we have a minus and we have a division. So we're going to do the division. 48 minus 16 divided by 2. We're going to focus on the 16 divided by 2, and that's 8. So that's 48 minus 8, and that gives us 40. Here's another practice problem. So here we have uh, the parentheses, 5 minus 3. We're going to focus on that first. That's going to be 3 squared. We have the brackets and then the parentheses. So we're going to do 7 minus 3. That's 4. We're going to do that first. Then we'll go ahead and do the square root. And under the square root, we have 19 uh, plus 17. And 19 plus 17 is 36. So we do the square root and the exponent. So the square root of 19 plus uh, 17, which is 36, is 6. We do 3 squared, which is 9. Then we'll go ahead and do uh, 20 divided by 4. And that's going to be uh, 5. 6 minus 5, we're focusing on the brackets inside. That's going to be 1, so 9 plus 1 equals 10. Okay, you can go ahead and practice these, and here are the answers. And you can use the answers to check your work. If you have any questions, please email me or let me know through Marco Polo or Zoom call.